As the days roll by, AMD Zen 4 is looking better and better, and Sony thinks their future on PC is looking better and better, as well as uh, Zen 5 details have come out. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your host, Brett. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet. And if there's any tech news that you wanna submit for me to cover an episode of Hot News, come join our Discord server and submit it in the tech news channel. So let's start off first with Zen 4. This is something that we've covered a lot here this week on Hot News, Zen 4 has just been kind of leaking in the bits and pieces as the week has gone on and the latest information is coming out from the YouTube channel Moore's Law is Dead and he's saying that his sources are pointing to the fact that Zen 4 should have above a 20% IPC increase over Zen 3 which is kind of the number that we've been hearing. Genoa which is supposed to be their epic version of these chips has been slated to be 29% faster than the current generation so above 20% is exactly where you would expect it. 8 core chiplets, 50 plus percent performance per watt increase Genoa over Milan as well as AVX 512 support is a pretty big deal also indicating that the desktop chips there might be a 24 core design that exists however AMD may or may not launch it and if they do it'll likely cost a pretty penny likely I mean given the price of what the 5950X goes for I would assume a thousand dollars but obviously I'd just spitballing at that one it looks like the 16 core is gonna be the mainstream top chip that exists as well as dual channel DDR5 5200 support is the current targeted speed, as well as being able to support three NVMe 4.0 drives and then 28 lanes of PCI Express 4.0 for X670. There's also more details on Genoa, which is their server environment type stuff. A 96 core model, 128 lanes of PCI Express 5.0 with a confirmation of it launching next year. It looks like Zen 4, according to Moore's Law is dead sources will likely be announced maybe towards the end of this year but really start launching next year but with the launch starting off with am5 motherboards and then their apu lineup am5 gonna be a debuted with those apus first at least that's the indication from moore's law is dead is this what you want to see from amd out of zen 4 i think them launching am5 with apus is a little frustrating for me because their track record with apus over the past couple of generations has been very just not consumer oriented it's been oem oriented which might mean that am5 is going to come to hp and dell before you and i can get our hands on it and it might be a similar situation to the current ryzen 5000 g series or even the 4000 g series where you had to go around to go get those chips you couldn't actually just go and pick them up and slot it into your motherboard are you excited for zen 4 let me know down below in the comments but i could tell you that i'm excited for today's video sponsor the ridge my friends, Father's Day is coming up and The Ridge makes a great gift. You can shop the Father's Day guide on the site and find the best gear for your dad. You can help your dad ditch the bulky wallet that he's carrying around, the George Costanza wallet. And fun facts, I might not be your dad, but I am a dad and Father's Day just happens to fall on my birthday this year. But let's get back to the sponsor, The Ridge. Their wallets are amazing. They hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash. They have 30 colors, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium with over 40,000 five-star reviews. They have a durable material with a lifetime warranty and the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it. They'll let you test drive it for 45 days and you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. And the best part is if you go to ridge.com forward slash hot news and enter coupon code hot news, you'll save 10% on your purchase of a Ridge wallet for your paps and get a free worldwide shipping and return set up with that. Again, go to ridge.com forward slash hot news and enter hot news as your coupon code to get some money off on your pappy's gift. Now let's talk about the 3080 Ti. We're expecting Nvidia to announce this card on May 31st first at their Computex like pre keynote that's going on. And now we have some leaked benchmarks that are coming out that essentially show that it's about as fast as the 3090. This makes sense given that we know that the CUDA cores that are going into this card are about what a 3090 is. So seeing all of these benchmarks put it up against a 3090 while also being right around where the 3090 stacks up against AMD's chips, such as in this Ashes of the Singularity benchmark, just kind of brings the whole story together. It's a 3090. Hopefully at a thousand dollars, that would be my guess because the 3090 is 1500. So they have to make it cheaper, especially since it has half the VRAM. So please Nvidia, but obviously this means that when you go to buy it at retail, it's gonna cost you $6,000 because that's just the way the world works right now. But the world's gonna work even faster because we're getting our world's first look at PCI Express 5.0 SSD controllers. Marvell announcing Bravera, their SSD controller for this, which can support speeds of up to 14 gigabytes 
per second and 2 million random read IOPS, which is just gonna be a blazing fast SSD once you slap that in there. But in case you wanna slap Borderlands on your console and then play it with your friends on another console, you can, because crossplay is coming because it was announced that Borderlands 3 is gonna include full crossplay support across all platforms, except for Sony doesn't want to, because Sony's logo is play has no limits, unless it's on another console, and in which case, they can go screw themselves. But it doesn't look like Sony screwed when it comes to the launch of the PlayStation 5. They published an investor's presentation which gave us some details on everything that's going around with the PS5, such as the fact that they likely will become profitable on the console next month with the cost of the PlayStation 5. They've been making a loss on all the sales that have been happening up until this point. But it looks like the price of the console is gonna be less than what they're selling it for, so they're gonna start making money. And they also revealed that they have plenty of IP, which is helping to make this the strongest launch that they've ever had best ever launch lineup as well as best ever post launch lineup and them also indicating that uncharted 4 will be coming out to pc this is part of their continued plan to bring more playstation games out on pc as well as them indicating that they're going to be working on their mobile plan at some point soon which there's some rumors and rumblings around that this might mean that first party playstation games will be releasing on ios that's what i heard i'm not sure what capacity if this is going to be like an exclusive streaming thing or how they're going to operate it, but it looks like Sony's trying to work heavily with Apple on this rather than roll it out to the Android system. We'll have to see if that's actually going to happen and the details on all of that as it moves forward. But we're going to move on forward into the GameStop Bitcoin Crypto Stunk Dunk Update. Bitcoin up a little bit, just a 0.25%. But good news in the Bitcoin world, PayPal, who recently started allowing you to buy crypto on their application, will now allow you to transfer it to third-party wallets with them saying that that's going to come out sometime soon but there's no PayPal coin that's happening as of this moment. Ethereum down 0.03%, seemingly flat on the day. Doge, however, down 4%, just not barking at that moon anymore. GameStop, however, still doing well, up nearly 5%. GameStop 254, ho ho, this stunk is going up, my friends. This is the good one. This is why I kept it in, all right? We had, we had a couple weeks where I was just like, what are you doing, GameStop? Why aren't you moving? You should probably do something with your life, and now it it is. Heck yeah, but obviously the big story isn't GameStop, it's actually AMC, which was up 35% on the day. And if you look, it's it's up from $12 up to $26. It's making massive moves as well. All of the stunk stocks are just ka my friends. And the NHTSA thinks that your Tesla might ka into things that are directly in front of you now that they've removed radar. The NHTSA pulling some of the driver support technology certifications that they granted to Tesla now that the Model 3 and Model Y are starting to ship without radar. It no longer is certified for forward collision warning, lane departure warning, crash imminent braking, or dynamic brake support for vehicles that were produced on or after April 27, 2021. This is in stark contrast to Tesla, who says that everything's mostly the same except for going over 75 with auto steer and the lane departure warning. That'll be figured out in a little bit. NHTSA saying, no, we actually no longer certify you whatsoever. How big of a deal this actually is remains to be seen because Tesla's not communicating here, which is just kind of their MO. Hey, we're gonna make big changes that fundamentally alter the entire like automobile industry if everybody followed them, but we're just gonna try to get away with it and see what happens and not tell anybody ever really what's going on. We're just gonna hope that everybody thinks that we're awesome because we kind of are. Look at us, we're doing the right thing here. Which they kind of are when it comes to the solar panel truck cover that's coming out to the Cybertruck. I'm really excited for that. Elon Musk came that should add about 15 miles of range a day, which obviously isn't a lot. It's not gonna actually charge the vehicle, but it would allow you to be out in like the middle of nowhere and just get enough power to power the AC for the day and not lose charge while you're out in the middle of nowhere. Anyways, that's coming out in a patent with the rollable solar panel cover just being featured in the patent. We'll leave links in the video description if you want to check more out about that. And you're going to be able to check out a whole lot on an upcoming 700 terabyte optical disc that you can slap into not a Blu-ray player. It's a new nano composite material that can store tons of data, 28,025 gigabyte Blu-ray 
Blue rays. A blue ray? What happened to the red ray? What is a red ray? It can counteract the effects of the blue ray. Where are those plants? On this blue ray. This is part of research that's coming out from the University of Shanghai for Science and Technology, as well as the National University of Singapore, where they're working on a super dense optical disc that could be used in data center environments, not so that you can have the entire extended edition of Lord of the Rings on 8K Blu-ray on one single disc and just watch it in a continuous marathon forever and ever. That's not what it's for, unfortunately. Acer, however, thinking that recycled plastics are for their laptops. They're with them announcing that the Acer Aspire Vero is the company's first laptop made out of post-consumer recycled plastic, as you can see here. And not just that, but they reverse the R and the E keys so that you know it's recycled, okay? It's backwards. It's reduce, reuse, recycle, re the, the other way. Now let's talk about Zen 5, because we got some more leaks on roadmaps when it comes to the Zen 5, which is the next architecture after the next architecture of what we're expecting from AMD. Really, the Ryzen 8000 series, the big thing is that it's going to be codenamed Granite Ridge. That's kind of the real leak here, as well as the idea that it's going to be made on the three nanometer process over at TSMC. This is kind of stuff that could have all been assumed. The idea that it's called Granite Ridge is new information and Strix Point is supposed to be the APU side of things. And Strix Point is supposed to adopt the hybrid architecture of Zen 5 plus Zen 4 and introduces a new cache. We'll obviously get more details as we approach that future if it ever comes to us because no day is promised. And Valve hasn't promised to make their portable console, but there's some good indication that it's happening. You should go check out yesterday's episode of Hot News where we detail the Steam Pal, my friends. And I'll pal around with you on Monday with some more hot news. See you there.